Hi everyone, today I'm going to be making a large size rose and this is just the same template as with my medium rose. I have several requests to make the large version. The technique is the same but this will just be um, the larger size rose and um, I'll be making this a little bit quicker since I had more detailed instructions in the medium rose tutorial video. So just really quickly, uh, what I have here is um, it's a pink shimmery cardstock. It is actually the same type of shimmer cardstock as in the ones that I made with my wedding flowers. So this color is called Champagne Pearl. Um, it has a slight sheen to it that makes it look really elegant and pretty. With uh, this color, I'm not sure what the color is, but I did purchase it from Michaels as well. I purchased the Champagne Pearl color and this pink shimmer color from Michaels and it is 65 pound cardstock so I get a lot of questions about what type of paper I use it's 65 pound cardstock or 176 grams per square meter anything equivalent to that would work perfectly for these flowers and so what I'll what I have here is just like with the medium rose I have eight bud petals 12 of the medium petals and six of the large petals. And so this will just be a large version of the medium size. And so I'm going to flip them around because the shimmer is only on one side. And then I'm going to build the cross shape piece that I use for the bud piece in the middle. So I am gluing it about half an inch together and I'll do that for all of these. And then afterwards, I'll curl them. So approximately half an inch. I don't measure, but if you need to, go ahead and measure half an inch overlap. And essentially, you'll be making this cross shape piece. So I have one more to go. And then what I want to do is just add a little bit of glue right in the middle. And then lay that piece on top so that you get this cross shape piece. So one of the difficult things about the large rows is that it's larger so the petals are larger and it can be a little bit difficult to build the flower. So like I did in my original video, I'm going to curl it. This is called a bone folder. Um, you can use it to score things or fold things. I use it to curl my petals. You can use anything you want. I've had people say butter knives, um, skewers, chopsticks, anything that you want. I'm curling the petals this way so that I get the shimmer on the outside. Right, so I have one piece there, and then I'll curl this piece. Whoops. I'll curl this piece here. So I'll go ahead and build the, the rosebud in the center first. And what I did last time was that I essentially rolled this together and glued it and then I started gluing the other pieces around it. But then one trick that I've learned from other paper flower makers is you add a piece of glue, add a little bit of glue there and then add a little bit of glue here and if you, well I need to be very careful, but if you take two pieces together, if the left and the right sheet and then you bring it together it creates a nice little pyramid pyramidal looking center in the middle so you may need a little bit more glue
You can always add glue after you've brought the petals together as well. And this is just another way of make, starting the row center. What I've done here is I did it differently where I started off with one petal. So you can see there's a little bit of a hole in there. I liked that look, but then some people like a smaller closed look. But essentially from here, then you just start building your rows by adding glue to the sides of the petal. And then gluing them together. And then you continue on with the second piece and add some glue on the bottom. Stick it right in the middle and continue. Since the last few petals went this way, here and then here I want to start with these. So you can see in the middle the center looks a lot nicer. It does look that it has a nicer overlapping look. So I just want to compare it again. You see there's a slight difference in the way the flower center looks. So you could do it the way that I did, had done in my medium rose tutorial, or you can do it this way. Again, this is a trip, uh, excuse me. This is a trick that I pulled um, from other paper flower artists. I've seen a lot of them do it, so thanks to them for that. And then the next thing I wanna do is now that I have my centers, I wanna put it off to the side and I want to curl my remaining uh, layer, petal layers. So, just like to give it a light curl. And I'll do this for all of my petals. If you're using one-sided card, um, a cardstock that is one-sided, um, the pattern or design that you want or color is one-sided. You want to make sure that the side that you're curling on is the one that you don't want seen. So it's the one underneath. So for this shimmer cardstock, I'm having the shimmer side down, and then I'm curling it that way. If you accidentally curl it, just turn it around and curl it the other way. That's just so that when I glue the petals to get to the rows, the shimmer side is seen while the color side that doesn't have the shimmer is underneath. All right, so what I'm going to do now is start building my rows. And so what I want to do is add glue to the bottom of these stems. I want to add glue to the shimmer side if you're using some sort of one-sided cardstock. And one thing I want to mention is if you use this row style, or I mean this center style, then you do need to glue the petals closer together. If you did it like I have done in my medium rows template video, the petals might be too tall. So here I'm purposely shortening the petals to match, to match the flower center in this video. I'm going to take my index finger and my thumb and put it underneath, have my index finger, I might have said that incorrectly and I want to make sure that I said it correct. I have my thumb and my middle finger underneath and my index finger on top and then I'm just going to bring the rose petal closer together. And then do the same on the other side. So 
So you do need to hold it and make sure the glue cools down before you let go. I want this petal to have a little bit more curl, so I'm gonna, whoops. So I'm going to add that here. Probably shouldn't have done that while I was still holding the glue, down, holding the petal down. All right, that's my first two petals. And I'm just gonna keep going. All right, and then now it's time to add the last layer of petals, the largest one. I'm just going to start anywhere and just glue the large petals all around. And there you go. This is a large size rose. The, I made it exactly the same way that I do with my medium size roses. But with a larger size, what you can do is add more layers. So you can add more of the medium or even just the, um, the large size at the end. You can add another row of them to expand the width or the diameter of the rose. So there are different ways that you can make the rose bigger. In my template, I actually include an extra large petal to make it larger if you wanted, so you can add another row of large petals, or the optional extra large petal to just make it bigger. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.